<laughs> Graco strollers are some of the most popular strollers on the market, but how do you know which one fits your needs? We are going to be comparing three of the most popular strollers in the Graco Modes line, the Graco Modes Pramette, Graco Modes Nest, and the Graco Modes Nest to Grow. We've worked with Babylist gear editors to compare these strollers in three expert curated categories, longevity, portability, and features. We've even tested them ourselves to see how they stack up in real life. So let's see which one's best for you. Now let's talk about longevity or how long you're gonna use these strollers. Starting with the Graco Modes Pramette. So this one you can use from birth because it turns into a pram all the way up until 50 pounds. So Daniel's gonna show us how it turns into a pram. You just pop down the seat, there's a strap. And once you pop that through, you can do the same thing with the other strap towards the headrest and lower that so this will lie flat and baby has a bassinet to lay in. In order to turn it to a toddler seat, as your baby grows, you just pull up the strap by the headrest and do the same on the bottom for the seat. Pop it up, and then you have a toddler seat. Bam. All right, and next up, we have the Graco Modes Nest. This one you can also use from birth up to 50 pounds. Here's the toddler seat, and Daniel will show us how to break it down into a pram. Much like the previous one, this one you just pull out the seat. It pops right through. You can lower the top part as well, and then you'll have a pram. This one is also compatible with the Graco Infant Car Seats, so if you're not into the pram, you can switch out for the car seat as well. Speaking differences between the two pram strollers, I see a difference in the fabrics and just a little bit of the quality. So I think they're both great options, but I think this one is a little more stylish. And this is a little bigger. So your baby has a lot more room to grow in here and has a lot more room to lay down. That's why I kind of like this one a little bit better. And next up in our lineup, we have the Graco Modes Nest to Grow. So this stroller, grows with your family because it is a double stroller. So it comes with the toddler seat. However, you can purchase a separate attachment like the infant car seat, the carry cot, or an additional toddler seat. I'll show you how easy it is to add the infant car seat. So first, hop out these down below so that we can move the toddler seat. So these are built-in adapters. And then there are some additional adapters in the basket that we will add. Just like that, with a couple clicks, you have your double stroller that now grows with your family. So the main difference between this one and our two previous strollers is this one, you would start using it at six months unless you have the infant car seat attachment or the carry cot. As far as the pram, would this make a difference for you, choosing a stroller that turns into a pram like these? This would make a difference for yeah. me. Because I think having something that your baby can grow with all the way from the beginning, especially if you're a new parent and you're not thinking about all the possible things going on, I think this is such a great option to have. I will say in the beginning, I was really nervous about my baby sleeping in the car seat on long walks or just always being in the car seat. I think the pram, her lying flat, would give me a little peace of mind. So if you're starting your search from birth, you want to start with the pramette or the nest. And if you have two under two or just know that you're about to have multiple kids, you definitely want to start with the nest to grow. So strollers have to go everywhere with you. So let's see how portable how easily breakdownable these are. All right, so first up, we have the Graco Modes Pramette. This one is about 21 pounds. It's a one-handed fold. All you have to do is squeeze and push the back button and push down. This is a really easy fold in a light stroller. I love this fold. I thought it was easy because when I'm holding my baby fresh out of the stroller, I wanna keep her safe as I'm folding and putting away the stroller. So next up, we have the Graco Modes Nest. This one is a two-handed fold. You just press the side buttons and lift up and then push down. The stroller ends up standing on its own, which we love. And I know this looks big, but it's actually really light. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the Graco Modes Nest to Grow. This one comes in at 30 pounds. To fold this one, there's two buttons on the sides. And the nice part about this one is it does complete the fold itself. So as you can see, it stands and it locks in place. It's another large one, but definitely feels light when you fold it. Do you have one that you prefer? Yes, the Graco Prima is by far the most compact. And in my car, I prefer a smaller stroller. So 
definitely would go with the Pramette. It's also super easy just to do with one hand. Yeah, I like the one hand, but I also like how easy the Nesta Grow is to go down. I know it's a heavier stroller, it's about 30 pounds, but I love the handles there and you just go down and it goes really easy for a stroller being that heavy. Definitely something I forgot to think about when I was purchasing my stroller is how often you're gonna unfold it. Let's go ahead and start with this unfold. You're gonna unlock on the side and then you need to do a little pop. <laughs> and then with the nest, you're gonna unlock and then do a little pop-up action, just like that. And last but not least, we have the Graco Pramette. Similar situation, you're gonna unlock and voila. And if weight is a little bit of an issue for you, I have to say that the Pramette was definitely the easiest to unfold. I'd agree. I think the Pramette is definitely the easiest to unfold. So as for the best stroll, I would have to say that I enjoyed pushing around the Pramette the most. I thought it was light. I thought it was easy to maneuver. Yeah, super easy to maneuver. So like if weight is an issue for you, I really think that the Pramette is a very good stroller. As far as this one, even though it was a little harder to maneuver it is the heaviest and the babyless experts did say that this one has the best suspension which we agree with this one has the least bounce for baby and it's because these tires are almost like jogging tires which is the only one out of these three that has tires that are that big all right and finally let's talk about what makes these strollers unique let's talk about the features in the Pramette that is $220 the Nest, that is $320. And the Nest to Grow, that is about $390. So all three of these toddler seats are reversible. So you just click them in. And then this one as well reverses. <laughs> In case you want baby to face you. And they also, all three recline. So these two actually have this nice little lever, which offers a few more reclining options versus the Pramet has the strap that you can pull down so you can basically recline it halfway and then all the way, but that's about it. And then these two also still have the Pram option where the baby lies all the way flat. And they're super easy to put back facing forward just by popping it out. Put it right back in. Very easy. Just yes. like that. Another great feature that these two have is the slide to me feature. So you are able to slide baby down further away or closer up. The nice part about this feature is it even works when the toddler seat is reversed. And there's three height options. You can go all the way up like I am right now, the middle, and it clicks right into place or all the way down. And speaking of things that are adjustable, this one actually has an adjustable handlebar. So you just press the buttons on the sides and that way if you're a little shorter or if you are taller and need the handlebar higher, you can adjust that to your liking. All right, Kayla, now let's talk about our favorite thing. The basket. Yeah, that's right. All of these have a pretty great size basket, which is important as parents, you carry a lot of things. So for the nest to grow, I will say, when the toddler seat is all the way down, you do not have the access to the basket in the front. However, when you pull up the toddler seat, you still do have a lot of access to the basket. And also when you add the second seat, you completely lose access to the front of the basket. However, you still got a large space back here that you have access to, as well as both of these baskets are very large. Yeah, and this basket has this really cool feature right here that goes up and down. So if you've got a lot of stuff, this can kind of protect it. Or if you need to have something that's longer that you need to carry in there because these baskets are perfect for grocery runs. And this stroller right here, which is the least expensive of the three, and it has a big basket as well. And all three have cup holders, which is great because not all strollers, even the really expensive ones, have cup holders that are already on the stroller. You have to buy those separately, but the Pramette, has a cell phone holder. They go above and beyond. Let's go. And another nice feature is that not only parents can have their drinks, but the kiddos can have their drinks as well. 
And with all that being said, which one of these strollers is right for you? The Primat is cost effective, you can stroll from birth, and if you're a smaller person, this is a really good stroller for you because it is lightweight and easy to fold. And if you're looking for a stroller with higher end features that is still affordable, you can check out the Graco Modes Nest. This one has features like the slide to me feature that the Primat doesn't have. And lastly, if you're looking for something that's more luxe, built to last, and you're growing your family, you should check out the Graco Modes Nest to Grow. Are there any other strollers that you are interested in? Let us know in the comments and we will do the research for you.